Hello guys, welcome to my channel Anchor Advice. This is a twin flame update for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine from August 21st, 2020 to August 22nd, 2020. And of course, um, this may or may not resonate with everybody. So take what resonates and leave the rest out. And, um, hmm, what else, what else? Yeah, that's about it. I hope everybody has been doing fantastic. If you like my style of reading, please like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe. So I'm just going to do three more shuffles for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. Two more for the Twin Flames for the next 24 hours. One last shuffle. Okay, so right off the bat, we have here, um, you guys could be concentrating on your money. Um, yeah, the emperor. It could be the divine masculine. He could be working on becoming like a manager. On um, Because you're so loving, divine feminine, it's like you're his motivation uh, to get some sort of like promotion and his job to just um, do better. You know, you're his motivation, divine feminine, to do better. So he's... Um, yeah, defensive, seven of wands. He's going to be guarded towards um, anything new right now. It's like right now, yeah, the death card. of. Yeah, he's wanting to resurrect the relationship. Um, so he's not really wanting to be do anything new. He's just going to wanting to uh, uh, resurrect, uh, like come back to life. Make the relationship be coming back to life. Um, the hermit card. He's been working on himself. He's been spending time alone. And he's realizing now that it's like he is more stable. It's like you are very wise, Divine Feminine. Therefore, he was able to make wiser choices. Um, it was more stable. It was more abundant because you were able to think so ahead into the future. It, um, it, it allowed him to be able to just relax, to kind of not grow up. And so now he's more focused on becoming like an authority, becoming like a boss. So let's see, for the next 24 hours, the Divine Masculine could be wanting to, um, you know, make money moves uh, for the Divine Feminine. Let's see, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, the Twin Flames. So yeah, there's some sort of communication or a crossroads about not wanting to end this situation. Uh, perhaps, he's, yeah, the Nine of Cups, this is something he's wanting to continue. Well, I mean... Uh, with the king of wands here he's being very passionate um this is something that i've been getting in the readings for a while now already is that the divine masculine you know he's been wanting to pursue the divine feminine he's been wanting to talk to her uh let's see what's gonna happen though for the next 24 hours and i got some new tarot cards so we could get a look into his head right here so let's see twin flames divine masculine divine feminine the five of cups here lots of regret so it's kind of like he knows where he's at um the wheel of fortune coming back up it's like um, a string of bad luck it's like he can't change what's happening to him even if he wanted to the devil card it's like a string of toxicity um so he might go through some more uh bad luck i mean that's kind of what i was getting recently but it's looking like as if um, it's starting to affect his money. It, you know, it's like it's hitting him where it hurts. So I don't know if it's financial issues are coming up. But in general, it's like there's some sort of regrets towards financial... Some sort of finances with you, Divine Feminine. Yeah, for a pentacle. Like maybe he was very he, he was very greedy with his time, with his money. It, you know, uh, it was all for him about where he wanted to be in life. And it wasn't... You know, it was like his eyes were on the bigger picture. Yes, for life. But you, you were thinking of you and him. And he he was just thinking like, oh, she's just lonely. You know, and so it's like there's a lot of regret here. There's disappointment uh, towards that. Let's see. So what are the energies for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine for the next 24 hours? The Page of Wands. So there's a message wanting to come in. Um, but I mind you, the page, that's somebody who's still immature. So, um, yeah, he's still wanting to message you. But the Empress, he's missing your mama love. You know, how motherly you were to him. Um, kind of like a mom when you crash her car. 
At first, she's going to be very ticked off at you. But then she's going to, like, your mom's still going to love you. And that's kind of what it's looking like here, King of Cups, the Empress. He's wanting serious love. Not this, you know, uh, what's around, what you could get at the bar nowadays. Um, he wants something that will actually... I, it's like you're a healer. Um, he wants your healing love. If that makes... Yeah, that's kind of what I'm wanting to say. So he's wanting your healing love. And that's what he's missing. And so... Right now, that the bad, like, bad things are coming up for him, um, may not be happening for him physically, but, I mean, it, they're coming up in his life energetically. Um, it's making him wanting to defend himself, to communicate with you, because it's like, with you, you guys could kind of conquer everything, kind of pentacles. You know, you two together, it was good work. And so, five of cups here... Now there's like regret, there's guilt. It's like when you have a long day and you want to, um, you had a long, exciting day and you want to t like tell it to somebody, the lover's card, you know? And so it's like, there's all these regrets here. Cause it's like, there's been these events that have been happening to him, but it's like, he has nobody to like communicate that with. Like, oh, you know, you, you know, like. It's like, that's when you feel really alone, Nine of Wands. And that's something that he, he realized he did it to himself, how he was one day here, the next day gone. You know, you feel really alone when you actually, yeah, Queen of Wands. Um, it's kind of like, he thought he could play you, but he played himself because he thought you were going to, like, break his heart. But in the end, um, it's kind of like he left you before you could leave him. Also, so it's like that's when the real loneliness hits you, right? Is when you had a long day and you wanted to share it with somebody, some sort of event, and there's nobody to share it with. Page of Swords, you're just left here watching. And so it just looks like for today and tomorrow, at least um, August 21st to the 22nd, the Divine Masculine, um, he still is in his regrets right now. It's looking like it's starting to hit him harder than ever. That the Divine Masculine, I mean, that the Divine Feminine, yeah, I was just about to say it, is his other half, Two of Cups. It's like, um, he's missing your emotional love. Yeah, King of Swords. So, I think he wants to be honest with you, uh, with the King of Swords, Ace of Swords, and the Knight of Wands, <coughs> and the Knight of Cups, about how, I know it's pretty dumb about how he's been very one day here, the next day gone, you know, texting you one day goes missing for five hours, you know, but you're everything that he's wishing for, nine of cups, you're everything that he's wanting, um, but with the king of swords, ace of swords, he, he does want to communicate to you some sort of stable truth, uh, page of cups could be, uh, some sort of stable truth of an apology, of an offer, uh, let's see, so what are going to be the energies, the divine masculine and the divine feminine? For the next 24 hours. One last shuffle after this one. So what's going to be happening? The hands man. So of course. Changing your perspectives. I mean that's been happening for a while now. Two of wands. Wanting to pursue a different direction. Yeah the devil card. So it's becoming obsessed. Um, I'll, I'll get another deck right now. Just to double check what the devil card is. So this is the last shuffle. What's going to be happening for the Twin Flames for the next 24 hours, August 21st to the 22nd? So we have here Three of Swords and the Empress card. So you Divine Feminine, um, you could be getting some sort of uh, news, um, some sort of message from the Divine Masculine that it's going to make you want to um, not spend your money even more. It could be him... Uh, well, let's get the other deck, right? So, let, let's see what the Three of Swords and the Devil card is. Two shuffles, Three of Swords, Devil card.
Okay, not okay with the seven of swords upside down, the devil card, three of swords, seven of pentacles. So it's like there's something you're not wanting to do for yourself. Um well it could be even like the divine masculine, like right now, him uh messaging you divine feminine like that right there. Him not doing that. Um, not doing something for himself is actually hurting him uh, with the three of swords here it's breaking his heart and then the uh, seven of swords and because um, to me the seven of swords upside down that's like a card of uh, you know your past your past you start to question your own actions so with the devil card the three of swords here it's it's him looking at it seven of pentacles looking at his actions and it's like you know, starting to realize that him not reaching out to you is, you know, it's, it's like it's actually breaking his heart. It's not making him happy. It's not. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Because he sees you as dependable, as reliable, as stable, as solid, as down to earth, and strong, independent, divine feminine. But again, um, him not messaging you. It's, you know, that's, that's toxicity here. It's like the only blockage. It's like the emperor is, um, and the page of pentacles here. It's, it's an imposter. It's somebody who tells people what they think they want to hear. So it's kind of like he's being stubborn. And that's the only thing that's going to be like breaking your heart as well here. Is that just that is his own actions. He's, he's like choosing to not text you so it's like he's choosing to continue the karmic cycle so if um you're you're still dealing with the karmic cycles i would say at some point one of you guys has to start ending the karmic battle switching the karma by starting to you know take different actions in the relationship that way it could um the relationship could transform and take like a whole different type of direction so i'm just gonna do uh two more decks and then I'll let you guys go. So, okay, let's do the divine masculine, divine feminine for the next 24 hours. Uh, this is a new deck I got. It's to um, pretty much get inside their head to see what they're thinking. So, one last shuffle for the twin flames, divine masculine, divine feminine. I bury myself and work to forget you. Yeah, that's why I was going to say, um, oh, never mind. Just in general, King of Pentacles, that's somebody who cares about money, uh, about the material aspect. So let's see. Divine masculine, divine feminine. I wish I had treated you better. Just three cards, please, and I'll move on to the next deck. Divine masculine, divine feminine for the next 24 hours. August 21 to August 22. We need to let each other go. Um, that's energetically. That way you guys can start a whole new cycle. Like, you know, you have to give um, their energy room to miss you. So that's why, you know, somebody has to let go to provide that space. So he misses your healing love. But uh, you, Divine Feminine, I feel like you have to fully detach um yeah you see that way he can come in i feel you even though we are apart the last shuffle for the twin flames my master is like that in august 21 august 22 i want to be more than friends i know i messed up everything i'm grateful for the spiritual lesson so i mean it's i mean it's something that he's learned uh, with the seven of uh, swords upside down, it's starting to question your own actions. So, I mean, he's, 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 um, you know, grateful for the spiritual lessons. He knows he's, um, looked, you know, he's messed everything up. And it's, um, when he thinks about you, it's, you know, it's you that he actually wants to be, uh, more than friends with. Um, you know, you were very wise, like I said, very successful. So you were very helpful in that sense, uh, where, you were like his rock. So, I don't want to say you're like his mother, but you're like his mother. You know, mother, lover, brother, sister. 
friend, best friend, girlfriend, wife, I guess. Anyways, uh, three more shuffles for the twin flames. Two more shuffles, divine masculine, divine feminine. One last shuffle, divine masculine, divine feminine. God is in charge. So whenever you find yourself frustrated, it's just because you're frustrated that things are not happening and your timing, but you have to be aware that you're just frustrated because it's not supposed to happen when you want it to. It'll happen when the universe um, spirit wants it to happen, not when you want it to happen. So, yeah, if, um, so just keep that in mind whenever you're starting to get frustrated. Yeah, you created this um, situation and you have the power uh, to change it. So, um, yeah, yeah. I guess just whatever it is that your mind is on with the divine masculine, divine feminine. Uh, you created the situation and you have the power to change it. So let's see. Focus on divine and perfect health. So just focus on yourself. On your... Um, and the person you're asking about is trustworthy. So you just focus on yourself. It's not like um, the person you're thinking about... The divine masculine, the divine feminine. I mean, it's there's a lot of wicked people out there who it's like, you know, um, it's the wicked people that wake up intentionally wanting to ruin your day. You know, the divine masculine, the divine feminine. Sometimes people just aren't fully mentally aware at the time that they're doing something. So, um, you know, don't think that like um, that the divine masculine, you know, you can never trust him. Or he could never trust you. I mean, you guys have that trust for each other. I mean, it's not like you guys intentionally try to, uh, you know, sabotage each other's lives over. I mean, everything that you guys did was just um, because you guys didn't know how to handle your emotions. So, uh, this is the last deck I'm going to be using. If I could get any more cards out, awesome. If not, I'll let you go. So, Twin Flames, August 21st to August 22nd, 2020. The twin flames, divine masculine, divine feminine, for the next 24 hours. If I could get like a card out for this one, any messages? shuffles for the divine masculine and the divine feminine for today and tomorrow if i don't get any cards out in this last shuffle then it is what it is and i'll close it off there so divine masculine and divine feminine twin flames any more messages holy spirit holy angel make it fly out of the dead okay the only, the only one we have is seeking and finding to me this is like the hermit card as well so it's like Figuring out what is it that you want from somebody that you cannot give yourself. Because what you want from somebody, admit it, we can always give that in ourselves. What you want, you know, in a relationship, you could do that all for yourself. So that's where the seeking and finding comes in. You are stronger than you know. Um, I'll just go ahead and read it. You know, it's the whole point is just to um, uh, take a better uh, look at the stuff you're... You're seeking for, let's see. Yeah, we have like a butterfly flying from flower to flower. You are searching for what's next. This card reassures you that you'll find what you're looking for. Hold the vision of success. Experience the excitement of the process and feel fulfillment as if everything has already been accomplished. Keep calling upon guidance of God and the angels to lead you in the best direction. Look within yourself to find great love and beauty. Don't draw fear onto your path by worrying about what will come. Put only love into any thoughts and feelings you have about your future. Trust that um, trust that everything that is rightfully yours already belongs to you spiritually. So it's like although you are seeking, um, have faith that way you can be able to receive um, because 
that's it's kind of like um, like I said, a lot of people are questioning their own actions, and just know that um, uh, if you guys are are holding on to any fear that uh, you know God is in charge, to let Him um, handle all things above you, pretty much, because uh, we are going through that new moon in Leo, so uh, anything that you have your eyes on new, it'll actually be very successful for you guys. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and close it off there. Thank you guys so much. Please like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe. Have a great one. Bye.